Hello everyone, it's Anastasia here. If you don't know me, I am a photographer and content creator in Athens and this is my vlog, week of my life in Greece. And uh, here is the family vacation that we went to. And apparently now I'm showing you a room tour that uh, we had in Evia, specifically in Styra in Evia. This is the entrance with the beds and uh, combined with a small kitchen here with this uh, actually quite nice and beautiful view to the mountains. The kitchen itself uh, was uh, quite small and we didn't use it except for making coffee and uh, putting some things in the fridge. I'm not attaching the link to this hotel because uh, it was dusty in some places and that clearly was an unhappy thing to notice. But here we are, walking into the most important room of the hotel, the bathroom. And uh, to me it's important that the bathroom is clean. This bathroom was clean enough, at least on the noticeable areas like I didn't see anything that would disturb, disturb me or disappoint me. It was uh, quite small with a shower cabin and uh, they had included a shampoo and a soap, but usually I bring my soaps and shampoo with me. So that was it. <laughs> I had a difficulty to wake up today having my coffee. We woke up actually for a reason. We are going to shoot my project about the 12 gods here in Avia and uh, we found out a great location. I don't like intruders. Having my sister preparing because she's going to be the model of uh, the today's project. We are going to shoot the goddess Demeter. She is considered to be the goddess of agriculture and she also controls the weather conditions. A small uh, myth here is that uh, she had a daughter, Persephone, and one day her daughter was kidnapped by the god of the underworld, Aedes. You know, in Greek mythology, this shit happens like every day. Uh, apparently, the god of the underworld, Aedes, asked his brother Zeus if uh, take Persephone as his wife. And Zeus uh, gave him like the, the yes, that he can do it. Nobody asked Demeter, her mother. And uh, from then, Persephone was uh, the queen of the underworld. I think she was uh, going up to the world of the mortals once a year, which is uh, the spring now. So it's considered that that's why the weather is becoming better and uh, it's more sunny because Persephone is coming up and Demeter is uh, feeling better and she's more happy because Demeter is controlling the weather conditions. Like, like this is the Greek mythology. We came to this amazing location, Dracospita of Evia, meaning the dragon houses. And uh, it is actually unknown when these houses were built and by whom. And there are rumors that they were built by dragons because the bricks are actually too huge for a human being to carry them and build a house. So we decided that this mythical location fits perfectly to our mythical project. back from our family vacation right now i'm going to prep because we're actually going uh, shopping we're going to the mall for something that my sister needs uh, and uh, just to look around so i'm going to talk with you while i am doing my makeup the tan from the sun was just insane in some parts of my face and body my face is uh, red and uh, looks very weird so i'm not from the type of people who go under the sun and get an amazing sun tan i just look super weird my eyes look very tired and uh, uh, and dark underneath so we will see how we are going to fix that right now it's not that i like to be under the sun and this happens it's just um, you know one day i was not wearing a hat that was a mistake I was trying to see under the umbrella. The sun can hit you from here, 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 from all over the places, even if you are in the water swimming. So you cannot be really saved. Now when I will put light 
foundation on my face I think it still will be a difference can be spotted that here is white and here is red so I think I'm going to put it to all of my face so as for today I have to edit the photos from the photo shoot of uh, the Demeter project and I hope that I'm going to post them already today so I'm actually going to go over Lightroom and I'm going to put some uh, uh, color editing and I think we will be done by today and tomorrow I have another photo shoot for another god uh, on the same project and this time it's going to be it's going to be with a girl with a girl model of m one of my friends but uh, it's going to be for a god not for a goddess a god Hermes or Hermes in Greek I'm super excited for this shoot as well I think it's going to be very very cool and uh, I have thought about the location we have done some preparation over the phone so I'm confident that everything is going to go smoothly so yeah tomorrow at golden hour we are going to shoot uh, as well I'm going to continue editing this vlog so hopefully it will be done uh, by the weekend and I can post it on Monday when I usually post my videos on YouTube and you know, I was, I was thinking if it's still relevant to keep a specific day of the week whenever I post a, a new long video on YouTube. I noticed that some YouTube vloggers actually keep that and they have, you know, um, every Friday I'm posting a video or every Saturday and uh, all of them have a specific time. But some people just post and they don't really uh, care about which day of the week it is or if it's going to be once a week or a couple times a week and I wasn't sure by now if I'm going to keep one day of week or if I'm going to just post whenever but I think having a specific day of the week whenever uh, I post a new video is better for me in this way I can keep myself into a structure and I can follow a specific program I remember when I have to shoot a new video while the week uh, passes and uh, I have a day in my mind when I'm posting so I am thinking that I'm positive about uh, keeping a specific day of the week whenever I do that. Ah, I will quickly show you what I'm using. So I got this uh, Clinique makeup in the United States when I was there back in June. It has SPF 15. It actually uh, applies nice and it leaves like a thin layer, which I like. I don't like uh, my makeup foundations to be super thick. This I don't have uh, like a, a shadow palette anymore. I just have, I got this shadow stick. It has a more of a wet structure and it applies more easily on the eye. And I don't put it on the full eye lid. I just put it here as a, as a line and uh, I prefer it like this. So I'm actually going to use it. And this is uh, Kiko. 47 eyebrows this is a painful topic because uh, i have used uh, several products in the past like pencils or even a brow mascara or brow gels and um, i don't know nothing really satisfies me and this time i got in back in the united states an eyebrow stick <laughs> uh, it's not a pencil it's more of a wet structure again and it's uh, thick uh, it's actually from the line tattoo studio so they claim i guess that it uh it is waterproof or that it doesn't go ah but it's all they wear not sure like it goes away very it fades away very quickly so it's not really true uh, so i'm just slightly applying this on my eyebrows to fill in the gaps. So I'm using the Vivienne Sabolo mascara and this is the line uh, Cabaret, black one. Uh, not go like this. <laughs> this is just for my hair to keep like, you know, some wavy form. And now, I don't know why in the video I look much better <laughs> than in real life, but I kind of like it. Oof, I hope, I hope that my hair just stayed like this and not do this freeze form okay so let's go on with the vlog
As for the project Hermes, we went to a great spot in Vulagmeni. It's uh, south suburbs of Athens and it's actually hidden so you kind of have to know where to go. I like so much the rocky environment there and I knew from the beginning that they want to shoot Hermes project there. We made it there right at the golden hour, had a photo session for one hour and then enjoyed the beautiful sunset for the remaining moments there. <laughs> 